Hi, I'm William Spaniel. Let's learn some game theory. Today we're going to go over the stag hunt and pure strategy Nash equilibrium. So here's the game. Two hunters are going to go out and try to catch some meat. There are two rabbits in the hunting range and one stag, but the hunters can only bring the equipment necessary to catch one type of animal. They can either choose to hunt rabbits that day or choose to hunt a stag. And when they make this decision, they're not going to actually see what the other guy is doing. They're going to simultaneously get their equipment on their own without observing what the other guy is doing. Now the stag has more meat than the rabbits combined, but it requires both hunters to chase the stag in order to catch it. In other words, the hunters have to cooperate on catching a stag in order to be successful. On the other hand, the rabbit hunters, if there are any in the game, will be able to catch all of their prey by themselves. And the interesting thing here is that if a guy goes out hunting a stag and the other one goes out hunting a rabbit, the guy who's hunting the rabbit will get both the rabbits, while the guy who's hunting the stag won't get anything. And we can condense all this information to the matrix on your screen. When we solved the prisoner's dilemma, we checked to see if one strategy was always better regardless of what the other player was doing. So let's see if this dominant solution concept works here. Well, if player two is going to hunt a stag, Player 1 should go after a stag as well, since 3 is greater than 2. But if player 2 is going after rabbits, player 1 should hunt rabbits as well, since 1 is greater than 0. So sometimes player 1 prefers hunting a stag, and other times he prefers hunting rabbits. Thus, our dominant solution concept isn't sufficient for this game. And consequently, we must introduce another method for solving games. And that's where you get Nash Equilibrium. And a game is said to be in Nash Equilibrium when no player has incentive to deviate from his strategy given the strategies all other players are playing. That is, everyone is playing their own best response to what the others are doing. And there's a rule that says that at least one Nash Equilibrium must exist for all finite games. So what does this mean? Well, let's take a look. To try to find an Ash Equilibrium, we have to take an outcome and check to see if any of the players would like to change their strategy given what the other one is doing. And we'll start by looking at the stag-stag outcome. Should anyone change their strategy here? Well, we already saw player one wouldn't want to deviate, as hunting a stag is his best response to a player to player two hunting a stag. If player two is hunting a stag, player one can hunt a stag and get three, pe three pieces of meat. Uh, but if he chooses to deviate and go to rabbit, he'll only get two out of the deal, which means he much prefers going to get the stag than trying to switch to getting a rabbit. Now we check on player two, and as you can see, this is the same thing. She would want to hunt a stag given that player one will be hunting a stag with her. So stag-stag is a Nash equilibrium, but there may be more than one, so we're not done yet. We need to still check on the rest of the outcomes. So let's say player two is hunting a stag and player one is rabbit hunting. Again, we have to ask if either player would want to change their strategy given what the other one is currently doing. And we can see here that player two would want to change her strategy. And in fact, her best response to player one rabbit hunting is to rabbit hunt as well. If player one is going to hunt a rabbit, if player two decides to go after a stag, she's not going to get anything out of that. So she's going to want to deviate and choose to go get a rabbit instead. So rabbit stag is not in equilibrium. Now let's check stag rabbit. And by a very similar logic, player one would want to switch to hunting a rabbit if player two was going after a rabbit as well. And that's that. That leaves us with one last outcome, rabbit, rabbit. And we've actually already done the work here to see that this is a Nash equilibrium over the last couple of slides, because we know that both player one and player two prefer rabbit hunting when the other one is hunting a rabbit as well. This is the proof for player one, and this is the proof for player two. This leaves us with two equilibria, stag-stag and rabbit-rabbit. Obviously the stag-stag outcome is better for both players, but that does not change the fact that you wouldn't want to change your strategy if you were both playing rabbit-rabbit. Consequently, actors in situations like the stag hunt will go to great lengths to communicate that they want to converge on the stag-stag equilibrium, and thus avoid the inefficiency of the rabbit-rabbit equilibrium. We will discuss this concept further in future videos.